Hi everyone, it's Albert Kiefer and I have a little video for you. I saw somebody asking me uh, or telling me that uh, she had a problem with scanning really large formats uh, sketches, at least uh, larger than the scanner uh, would normally be able to take. And I had a solution for that. It's probably very uh, well known. But I thought, uh, let's make a video of it and I'll show you every step to get your oversized scans into the computer and make it one really full scan. So let's go. All right, what you see here is uh, three sketches in three different sizes. This one, the first, is a size A5. And that's basically the normal size that I also have in my sketchbooks. Uh, this is a separate block and it has uh, A5 size pages. So this is, well, the most regular one that I sketch in and sketch on. Uh, and as you can imagine, this is quite easy to put on a scanner. The second one is a size A4, which is basically double uh, this size. which is also still uh, something that a scanner uh, can quite easily scan. Uh, but this one is a problem because it's double a size A4. And this, as you can see, let me open up the scanner. This one will not fit. It's too big. So what to do about that? I used to even uh, avoid uh, taking commissions on this uh, size scans just because I would not be able to scan them for myself. I always keep a, an archive of all the sketches that I've made over the years and since I was not able to scan these I avoided uh, offering this size at all. So, but it's not necessary. So let's see how that goes. I'll first explain the, ex the procedure here. Uh, it's a really simple one. What you do is you start your first scan like this and then you do it in three stages. One like this, then you put one in the middle. So it's overlapping quite a bit. And then the final one you put right here. And as soon as you have these three sketches, these three scans of the one sketch, uh, you have enough to get started in something uh, which is necessary. Uh, since we're making a digital copy here, a digital scan, uh, we're going to take all these three separate scans into Photoshop. And that's where we'll go next. All right, so here we are. I have opened up uh, Photoshop in my computer and what we're going to do now is open these files and we're going to do that in a special way. So we're going to File and then all the way down here to Automate. And if you see Automate, you go all the way down here to Photo Merge. And what Photo Merge does is allow you to stitch images together and it will do that completely automatic. So I'm going to browse to uh, a series of uh, three images. Uh, this is another one that I showed you an example because this was a commissioned piece and I already gave it away. Uh, but I have scanned these so uh, and I don't want you to wait like a lot of time for the scans because these are all quite large here you can see there are almost 20,000 pixels by 28,000 pixels per scan so these are huge huge files also you don't need to go that big for scanning but uh, for me uh, it, it's a way to have a really very high resolution uh, first scan uh, original so I selected all three and check open and now you see them here as the three files that Photoshop is going to take and try to stitch together. Uh, I leave all these things uh, the way they are because I had never any problems uh, with these settings so this is uh, just, just fine. Um, so everything is on auto 
and I'm going to let Photoshop blend the images together. Uh, I will pause because it will take some time, especially for these very high resolution ones. So I click OK. And then Photoshop is going to read in all these files. And that's not something that's very exciting to watch and wait for. So we're not going to do that. Uh, you see that it's, it takes the first one and it will go ahead, open all these three. And then once it has all these files open, it will start the stitching process. And what you saw when I showed you how to scan these images is that there is actually quite some overlap. So it's not like this one and the other one is exactly matching there. Uh, you need to have a lot of overlap because that's what allows Photoshop to compare and rotate and move around to get the best possible fit for any two images and match them that way. Uh, if you don't have that overlap, Photoshop has no idea how to match these together and it will most certainly not work at all. So you need to have a really good uh, set of overlap, percentage of overlap for this to work. And that's something that you can do in the scanner, of course. So here it's going to take all these three and start to uh, do the stitching process. And that's where I'm going to pause the video. And I will come back as soon as uh, Photoshop is finished. See you there. Okay. This took about uh, three to four minutes, so not really that much. Uh, if you have a fast computer, and uh, I also have a lot of memory, uh, which might be something that is necessary for really large uh, scans, uh, but in your case that might differ and you might not need as much memory or a fast processor. And as, as soon as, as long as you have time, it doesn't matter anyway. It's most important thing is that you uh, get your a uh, full scan of this large size sketch uh, ready. And as you see here, this is what comes out of Photoshop after its pass, and it looks really great. Uh, Photoshop did a wonderful job, and uh, I kept them separate so that you can see what Photoshop has actually done. So it takes uh, these scans and uh, masks off parts that are overlapping and uh, yeah, mask them away so that you have three uh, seamlessly joining together uh, sections of scan. Uh, let me show you. Uh, I'll switch two of them off. So here you see uh, what it has masked off. If I this, this black and white small thumbnail that you see here is actually the mask that Photoshop has applied. If I disable that for a moment, you see this is the original uh, first scan. And Photoshop has, by comparing it with the others, decided to uh, mask it off along this line. So when I add this one, you see that it really matches very well. Uh, the first section of the scan and this one also has this mask applied to that section. Uh, so there it is joined by the final one and um, that makes the full scan. Um, this is a huge file um, so what I usually do I don't need all these layers I need one single image so I go here to let me redo that I go here in the layers panel go to these uh, small horizontal lines this menu indication and I go all the way down to flatten image and this will if you look at this it might take some time uh, it will squash them together in one single uh, image and uh, now this is fully uh, joined. You see here, that's usually one of the things that I uh, want to do, uh, that uh, there is some edges showing, and I usually just crop that away. Uh, but this is a huge file. Uh, this one is, if I read here, it's 
39,683 pixels wide by 28,107 high tall. So this is a huge file. Um, but that's the original that I save uh, for my archives. And that is the way how you can scan and join an oversized uh, sketch on a scanner that's actually uh, smaller than the capacity uh, to scan uh, images like this. And it's a very easy process and it's very effective. I've been using it for years now and uh, it works quite well. So that's what I wanted to share with you and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and uh, please join me and uh, follow me uh, for more news and techniques. See you. Bye-bye.